rules to write a chemical equation. Write reactants on the left side and products on the right side. An arrow heading points towards the product. Arrow indicates the direction of the reaction. If there are two or more reactants or products, write a plus sign in between them. For example, NaOH plus HCl gives NaCl plus H2O. Physical states, solid, liquid and gas of the reactants and products are indicated by the letters S, L and G in brackets and written as subscript that is at the bottom of the reactants and products. Gaseous products can be indicated by an upward arrow. Insoluble solid product is called precipitate or PPT indicated by a downward arrow. When reactants and products are in water as a solution is called an aqueous solution state is indicated by letters AQ in brackets after their formula. If heat is provided to carry out a reaction, it is shown by delta that is a triangle written above the arrow. If heat is released during the reaction, it is indicated as follow. CuSO4 aqueous plus Zn gives ZnSO4 aqueous plus Cu plus heat. For a chemical reaction to proceed, a specific temperature, pressure or catalyst conditions may be required. These conditions are shown below or above the arrow which indicates the direction of the reaction. For example, vegetable oil plus H2 at 60 degrees Celsius gives Vanaspati ghee under nickel catalyst. Names of the reactants and products are written below their formulae. Special information of reactants and products are written below their formulae. As conditions of reactant changes, the product formed may change. Law of conservation of mass. Total mass of reactants is always equal to the total mass of products. What was the weight at the third and the fifth stage? What can we conclude from that? What changes have you noticed? Which type of change is seen? What can be concluded about solubility before and after?